Hey yo guys, what is up? I'm not stealthy bro here and today I have a bit of a different video to uh, show you guys because as many of you might know, I used to play TF2 a lot a lot. I have a thousand plus hours in the game and you know, absolutely love it but you know, I kind of changed to Roblox content since you know, that kind of worked out more for me but today I wanted to start a series that I've been meaning to do for a while now and it's the two cities like tour guide for each class that you can play and stuff so the start of it is going to be scout since that's mainly what I like playing now not a lot of people are able to get the hang of scout and then they just switch to another class like heavy or pyro so I wanted to do like a beginner's guide just like exactly how to do everything or how I would recommend to do everything at least based on my experience but yeah I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. Alright, so as I'm loading in, if you didn't see by the title, this is Manhattan Empire Escalation, and you're gonna see that I'm going to buy two fire resistances, a blast resistance, and a bullet resistance. And this is important because, you know, resistance obviously, uh, like, debuffs the damage that the robots do to you, but. In this particular case, you want to do that because first off, you're able to use all your money when you do that. But secondly, it's because there's just a wide range of different kinds of robots with different things in this round. So I would recommend just starting off with the resistances here, not even giving any upgrades to your Mad Milk or your Scatter Gun. And it's probably, or at least what I would argue, most important to stay alive during this first round because first off, you need to try and get all the money that you can during this first round because if your teammates see that you missed some money on the first round, which you know is always the easiest, then they might like be demoralized or something like, oh, we got a bad player and we already are one wave in, so we could either just stay mad the whole game and play bad or, you know, do just leave it in general. So. You want to make a good impression essentially. Now what you're going to see me do is throw the Mad Milk and hit him with the Fan War to which you ideally want both of those items. You don't even need to have the Soda Popper. I just like it because the jumps can get you out of tricky situations sometimes which you'll see later on. But you want to use the Mad Milk as much as you can and Fan War the Giants as much as possible for your teammates to easily take them out. And as I'm going to show here, another useful way to use your Mad Milk is by getting crowds of the robots at a time so that not only do you gain health, but your teammates gain health and it's just better for everyone all around. And also, I'm not sure if you were able to recognize it throughout all of these clips that I've played so far through uh, this pre-recorded gameplay footage or not, but I play very aggressively. As you can see, I decided to just choose this one part right here, but uh, I would recommend playing an offensive scout, and I mean a lot of scouts tend to do that, but some tend to just throw a mad milk and then run away, which in my opinion, you're kind of being useless by doing that. Of course you're still helping, but you could be doing a lot more with the scatter gun, just saying. And by this point in the video, you might be thinking, oh, he probably gave all his tips away already. He's just going to go over the rounds. Nope, I got plenty of more tips to tell you, so uh, keep watching and you're going to listen about all those. Now, when the round ends, and I'd recommend not resetting the get pack to spawn, I'd recommend refunding all of your upgrades because there's hardly any bullets in this one besides the uh, four heavies that are in here the four giants so as long as you can strafe around those you'll be fine you know get the two fire get the two blast because there's a lot of fire and blast in this one and those crit pyros uh, you know they aren't friendly so you want to make sure you have as much resistance as you can against those and you want to also max up the mad milk as I just shown there because that that mad milk is going to come in handy uh, and I'd only recommend getting it when you can like fully max it up not only it's time but also get it slowed perk too because the slowed perk helps with giant scouts a lot and there are lots of giant scouts that spawn so you want to make sure to just get the mad milk at this time it'll be very helpful for you and your teammates 
Okay, I'm gonna put this little clip in there because why not? Um, as you can see right now, I'm gonna jump on the railing, I'm gonna double jump there, and then, I mean, I fail that time for some reason, but you're able to basically get across right there to the other side and pick up money on the top, so um, if you needed a tip on how to get money up there and stuff, because, you know, it's pretty far away, that's pretty much the best shortcut you can take to get the money up there, but also, as you can notice, uh, or as you see, the robots capped the, I guess, first gate, um, and honestly, you don't even have to worry about that as a scout, to be honest, because as scout, that actually makes it way easier for you to pick up money than any of the other sort of areas, points on the maps, and stuff like that, so if that happens to you, do not worry about it. That is actually in your favor, if I'm being honest. Alright, so here I am moving on to wave 3 with all of the money so far, which is a pretty good look to my team, so you know, they won't want to pick any arguments with me or anything. But yeah, here we are at the upgrade station again. I'm getting two bullet resistances since there's scouts, a lot of them, and some shotgunner heavies, I'm assuming, and engineers and all. And I got three uh, crit resistances there, which um, I believe would probably like you know be better for you you'd have to do like all the like you know tiny calculations on that and stuff to see whether the uh, extra fire resistance or uh, you know the three crit damages would have been better or not but you know they're kind of interchangeable either one will work Alright, so at this point in the match, they had capped the other gate. I'm running around back and forth trying to find every piece of money that I can and just listen to what this guy says. Shit, we missed pedals. Now, this is just going to be a PSA for all TF2 MVM players, but notice how he said we missed some credits. He didn't say the scout missed credits, he didn't say stealthy missed credits, he said we. And as a collective working together, literally, you know, Team Forgers 2, um, you should uh, collect money if you see it. That's as simple as it is. If I'm having to run around the map like this because you guys couldn't keep up with the DPS and, you know, they got passed, then, you know, mistakes happen, but you gotta make up for those mistakes and you should be collecting money, like, in little obscure areas that I might not be noticing like you know if you see me run past something to either say hey I just ran past some money or there's money up right where you are something like that not just stay silent and then when you see the money you don't say anything you don't collect it and then you get mad when I don't so there you go just a PSA for all MVM players now as you're gonna see here I'm gonna make a bit of a costly mistake but it's gonna be one of the tips I wanted to go over anyway so it's gonna be fine I focused the engineer for a little bit to which uh, you know you should probably always try and do that but as you can see that heavy he had gotten uber because well pyro wasn't really there to um, to like throw his little gas canister at him but also it would have helped if I had thrown mad milk on him too because when I do that it gives me and him uh, both you know extra heals and stuff and generally you do not want to shoot at them because as you saw they made it so far past with an uber and you know it kind of put us all over the place and stuff so you want to make sure to throw your mad milk and then let your pyro either third degree it or uh you know gas canister it to which either shall work and also just real quick because it's in here if anyone help else has this problem where you know you like freeze like go back like two seconds where you were freeze and then unfreeze uh let me know what it is because i have no idea what happens uh when that happens to me and it happens multiple times and it happens during you know just like regular capture the flag modes and stuff to which you know uh, gets me killed so if anyone has a solution to that let me know so now I'm going into wave 4 and as you can see I missed like 8 bucks right there and I have to say that as long as it is under 50 then I would be fine with you. Like uh, honestly probably not more than 25 but 
if you miss under that, you should be good. Your team should be fine with you. They shouldn't be complaining about anything or whatever. Now I'm going to refund the upgrades because there's not too much or too many pyros in this one and I'm going to get some blast resistance and some crit resistance because there's going to be a lot of demos and some, uh, you know, some of them are going to be crits, a lot of them are going to be crits, you know, max out the mad milk again, you know, make sure to redo all of those, get two clip size, two damage, and one ammo capacity, which then, um, I would recommend just keeping your gun like that and at this point you can kind of just do whatever as long as you're kind of thinking about it smartly looking at the waves what's going to be spawning and you know maybe if you don't need a certain thing you could refund it get some other things you know like health regen or jump or speed or anything like that just any other support to help you out because honestly you don't need more damage or ammo or anything for your gun but if you want to you definitely can now with the giant crit soldier and giant medic combo uh coming up you might already guess what you need to do but you know target the medic make sure the fan of war him first so that the people on your you know your teammates can know like okay he fan of war the medic let's just focus him so that he can't even uber the giant soldier and then you just destroy him super fast like that and you don't have to worry about him going any farther than he needs to. And also, now that I'm thinking about it, if you do have Soda Popper like I do, um, at least equipped, I'd recommend actually trying to get his attention if maybe the Uber popped or something. Because, uh, you know, you could just use your jump ability and get super jumps, jump around in the air and stuff, distract him while your teammates... Uh, kill him and that is going to be very useful for them. And now as you're going to see, wave 4 comes to an end and I got all the money so we get a bonus and at that point my teammates are just like, okay yeah we got a good scout, we, you know, he only missed like 8 bucks this entire time so he is doing very good for how most scout players usually do. Now, as I mentioned before, you just want to get some resistances and personal upgrades like health regen, movement speed, all that, just for the last two rounds because you're not really going to need anything else for your gun and don't ever upgrade your melee unless you're spy, okay? I don't want anyone thinking I gave them the idea of, oh, just upgrade anything. Do not upgrade that, <laughs> okay? Anything but the melee. And just a tip for wave 5 as these giant uh, black box soldiers are going to be coming one in after another so as you can see there I'd recommend using soda popper because even if they hit you they'll regain all of their health so you do not want them to do that or else they can make it pretty far and you know mad milk fan of war them as much as you can and uh, you know if you want comment to your teammates too but you could just generally shoot at it yourself and you'll be doing a lot of damage because of the uh, few gun upgrades that you got and all. Now me and my team are going to be moving on to wave 6 with almost all of the money collected and if you're going for that, uh, you know, all money achievement then you know, stay a scout because wave 6 itself counts as that too. But um, honestly, although you can, you know, you can go as any other classes if you want. I still like to stay a scout because uh, fan of warring like the mini bosses <clears throat> and like mad milking just like all of the piles of robots that are going to come in during the last round I feel like is pretty useful in itself so that's why I like to uh, just stay a scout and a lot of people recommend doing that too but if you want to just go as some sort of soldier or pyro loadout then you know that's understandable also while these little like mini bosses are spawning i felt like it'd be a good time to uh talk about uh some other things i wanted to say while we're just shredding through these dudes and that would be the fact that even though it looks like i'm doing this almost near to perfection on camera you know perfect scout and all i will say that i've uh done a lot of tours and i mean for me it's like 13 right now to which I would say that's a pretty good amount but I've also done you know like boot camp and stuff to practice and all so you know even though it looks like I'm doing it really easily it's not like there's other footage of like this same exact mission and stuff where 
I was like failing a lot and stuff, so I didn't decide to use it. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that um, <clears throat> it isn't as easy as it looks, and you will have to put a little time into it. But eventually, you you'll just get the rhythm of it. You'll be perfect uh, for the team, and everyone's gonna love you. But with that, um, I also wanted to mention that if you're dying a lot, um, it could mean couple things okay so it could mean as I was just talking about might just need some more experience you know you've only you know it's only like your first or second tour or something so you know you're not like too good or whatever or too familiar with it or uh, on the contrary it could be your teammates faults because uh, as scout even though you do want to try and uh, get in there and do some DPS. It's not necessarily your um, It's not necessarily your responsibility to do all of the DPS and if your teammates aren't doing their job then maybe that's why you're dying because They're not able to keep you alive to get the money and you might just have to leave or you know Kind of have to call them out on it or something. All right, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna be the uh, video right there. And uh, maybe you know this, maybe you didn't. I tried doing it as fast as I could, uh, you know, without uh, leaving anything out or anything for at least this specific mission, so that you know you could know what to do, when to do it, all of that. But yeah, if you liked it, found it helpful then leave a like helps the channel out and if you want to see more of this comment and subscribe so that i know the support for this is real and i can continue making a series on this but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it and i'll see you in another one peace out